Hello guys, uh, today is a rather unusual video and recording is for immigrants, for potential immigrants. What I have here, my crystal ball, and I will try to make a prediction for 2024, which already started. And uh, I have few of those. I hope you will pay attention. So let's start. Uh, the first one is obviously more hot, hot topic than ever. Uh, the Minister of Immigration will be replaced soon. Our prediction probably this month, next month. And this is significant because we see what's going on in immigration and we hope the new minister will be more proactive. The next topic is students. Students are uh, on radar for us uh, for quite some time since last year. Uh, big, big, big turmoil between Canada and India because majority of students uh, by far uh, in Canada are from India. In terms of uh, recent updates, uh, which definitely influence uh, the student uh, requirement to provide more financial support and more financial proof, that will kill many colleges this year in Canada. And I literally mean it. It's my prediction. Sorry for being uh, negative on this front, but this is a reality. So when you enroll for student program, be careful, check uh, multiple times if this college or uh, institution exists. Next one is definitely the cutoff limit for medical officers to uh, act on determination of medical inadmissibility. Pay attention if you have any uh, trouble with health, with medical conditions of yourself or your loved ones. Uh, the increased amount now is $26,220 per annum. Uh, and this threshold uh, is just established on January 1st. That means the prediction for this year, if you immigrate, and you have any medical trouble, pay attention. Well, the next one is definitely hot as well. Provincial nominee program is everywhere. People talking about it, Ontario, Manitoba, Alberta, BC. Well, for your information, Ontario PNP quietly died. Nobody knows about it, but basically all provincial programs will face extreme, extreme hardship this year because they don't provide a real benefit for provinces and uh, both provincial and federal government very much uh, in disarray uh, in terms of how to handle all this mess about provincial pro uh, programs. And uh, our prediction for this year, many of them will be scrapped out and be careful when you are dealing with agencies and those, uh, you know, salespeople who are trying to convince you that provincial program is good, check which one, check if it's working check if it will work well or avoid it altogether. That's our prediction for provincial nominee programs. Uh, another one, a very interesting, also related to provinces, we're talking about Quebec Investor Immigration Program, which was resurrected this year, uh, January 1st. My suggestion, take it with the punch of salt because it's not working. It's not supposed to work because the ridiculous requirements they put together, it's just impossible for people to do any of that list and definitely Quebec overpriced itself and I think my prediction is Quebec program will die this year maybe next year but this year probably will be very apparent that it's not working. Next one is very interesting it's related to enforcement uh, how Canadian authorities enforce immigration law now they are taking something from uh, US border services books and they intend to establish this year first outposts for Canadian uh, Border Service agents outside of Canada, which is first time in history. It's going to be in U.S. first, and then my prediction, probably very fast, it will roll out to other countries. And uh, the reason is uh, obvious. We're trying to protect our borders, and since we have no other borders than sea borders with uh, oceans outside of both sides of Canada and uh, inland um, with U.S., the first obvious uh, outpost would be in the U.S. and it's coming. It's coming so people will be very much uh, surprised but it's coming. And definitely on a startup visa front we're talking about certain updates will, will, will happen this year. Uh, we see unfolding uh, scrutiny on those what we call mushrooms or illegal service providers who are offering some kind of uh, business advisory in terms of business planning or something else, sell it and they, they promise that it guarantee their success in startup visa program. It's not true. Be careful. 
and government finally taking some actions and we hope it will be very clean landscape by the end of the year in terms of who is helping you to be successful on startup visa front be careful be careful always ask for verification of success stories uh, deal with people who have reputation and definitely it will help you to be uh, stable and successful in your own startup visa journey and definitely our recommendation stand uh, check regular real results check something that you can verify talk to people who already passed with us for example we have great referral program and we definitely uh, wish you good 2024 click notification button subscribe to our channel like this video like all our videos and stay safe